Dear friends, welcome to Reverse Engineers. Before we get into the topic, I am strongly recommending you only one thing because we are going to discuss about critical topic. One by one, if you discuss, you will have a lot of clarification and a lot of points to be recorded. So, I am recommending you to make a note in the comment section to have a better clarification. I am again, if you have additional more information also, it will be helpful to have a good interaction. So keep on doing that. And we made this content with the help of piping expertise plus my personal experience. Yes, even some of the most expertised people working in the industries are having still this confusion. So be careful and watch this video and leave your comment. To make you clear, you need to understand two things. One is the standards, another one the codes. What makes the difference? Then it is very simple to understand all the codes and standards used in process industries. I want to make this so. How I will manufacture? Who will ensure the quality? Who will ensure the durability? Who will ensure the capability? Sometimes it may be broken. Yes, we need to follow some standards. This is the formation of standards. To avoid the frequent failures and to maintain the high quality, a group of scientists and engineers form standards. Standards provide a consistent and comparable results, includes Reliability, safety, and uniformity. Which these are the three key factors, which is provide you a perfect guideline or instructions for any designers or engineers to practice to implement the new product in the industries. The code is the set of rules and specification for the method and materials to be used in the product or process. ASME, American Society of Mechanical Engineers, published in the year 1880. Yes, I want to manufacture this scissor. I will refer to the ASME. Yes, ASME provides the guidelines for manufacturing the mechanical products. Now I referred ASME to get the guidelines how to manufacture this product. Yes. Now, in what basis I will qualify this product? In that case, I will refer to ASTM, American Society of Testing and Materials, established in the year 1898. The material testing procedures in ASTM covers pipes, metals, non-metals such as plastics, rubbers. So the insulation of this hand tool will come under the standard ASTM F1505. If you refer to that standard, you can get the guidelines of how to get to the reliable product with respect to safety and uniformity. Yes, uniformity is more important. That is called standardization. The purpose of standardization is mainly two things. The first one to ensure the safety, to protect the public and second one to maintain the uniformity yes, it is called the interchangeability the same tool I can use in any way uniformity is also one of the reasons to have yes, better standards yes, uniformity is nothing but the interchangeability same like if you want to buy a shoe in the online you will check the standard chart or the size UK size, US size, European standards. Yes, 
This is called the interchangeability. You can order which is equivalent or comparable sizes. It can fit. Same can be applicable for the automobile. Even if it is left hand drive or right hand drive, the some most of the parts will be common. Say for example the filter, the steering, the alloy wheel, these are all common parts having their same standard to have a better interaction and to avoid any shortage during the requirements. All the standards are referred to on each course. Yes. For example, for this hand tool, ASTM F1505 is the standard and for this standard, the code is ASME B107. The best example of code is ASME, American Society of Mechanical Engineers. And the best examples of standards is ASTM, American Society of Testing and Materials, then API, American Petroleum Institute, and third one, you can say JAS, Japan Standard, British Standard. So we have lot of standards used in the industry globally. Sometimes we have the national standards, sometimes we have the international standards. Particularly in the oil and gas and petrochemical industry, ASTM and APA are more common standards. Particularly, APA is the most commonly used standards in petrochemical and oil and gas industry. Yes, what is the difference? The ASTM and the APA is in APA you can find some extra testing procedures compared to ASTM. Sometimes if the grade will be equal, or we can say the grade is comparable, but we have more and more testing and more and more differences. Standards, it's all how to maintain the product with reliability, uniformity and safety. If you say ASTM or if you say API or if you say AASI, this all all comes under the standards. And of course, yes. in general, I can say ASME is coming under the codes and ASTM, API, AASI, these are all coming under the standards. And ANSI, it is American National Standards Institute. This is an umbrella for ASME. Sometimes ASME is referred as ANSI. It is nothing but the amplified voice of ASME. It gives the empower of ASME. ASME covers only the mechanical device, but ANSI covers not only the mechanical device, it will cover the products, the services, the process, the involvement of the environment. So ASTM will come under the standards. ASME represents the codes. Again, AASA represents the standards. API represents the standards. Now you are very clear about ASME, ASTM, API, AASI, ANSI. Wow! Keep on watching!